Okay, hello. This is a uh, short video I'm making for basic building. Uh, so, the basic setup for building here is pretty simple. Yup, stripped some people down. Yup, yup, yup. I have some plans for her you don't even know about yet, but we'll get back to that later. Or, no, or we won't. You'll just have to wonder. Alright, this is what I'm doing. So, once you get in your settlement, and you've done your first mission, and this mission, particularly, Cosworth sitting here, you talk to him, he's like, hey, I think there's people in Concord, go check it out. You're like, all right, so you go to Concord, you look around, now you don't really have to do anything. You can go into Concord, get uh, into some trouble, and leave. You don't even need to, to actually do anything. As long as you go to Concord, and then come back here, Cosworth will be like, hey, so did you find anybody? If you found people, you can be like, yeah, I found some friendly people, some friends. Or you can say, I found some friendlies. Or you can just say, nah, fuck you. It was a waste of time. Whatever. <clears throat> At that point, this all becomes unlocked. In truth, I think it becomes unlocked before that. But let's just say that for the, for the sake of argument, that's when it becomes unlocked. Okay. So at that point, you can come to right here. And you come to this sucker right here, and right like that, it should say workshop or transfer. Unless you want to transfer some stuff into the workshop, hit the workshop button. Boom. Now you're in build mode. Right here, you push up and down on your D-pad, your direction pad, uh, to get in and out of your different menus in each category. For instance, this is a resource category. You can see right there the spinning water and food. I press up once, I got food, water, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is important. That is... Uh, extra scavenging production, which means you've got people out there scavenging stuff for you, and if you put that down, bathtubs, just whatever. A bell, it's good for rounding everybody up when you want to know where all your people are in your town. Uh, this is, I believe, a power pylon? No, a siren. This is good for warning people when trouble's happening, and this is a quick travel teleport mat, so that wherever you put this mat in your settlement, this is where you will fast travel to once you can fast travel. A lot to take in, I know. So I'm just going to briefly go through this. Okay. So you've got structures, furniture, decorations, power, defense, resources, stores, and crafting. Now these two don't unlock until you get six uh, charisma and get some of your um, uh, local leader perks unlocked. The rest of this stuff you can build right away. So let's say we're in a build. All right, you've already come through here. You've broken down all the houses. You saw this big house was easy. You collapsed it. Now you've got a brand new foundation. All right, but let's just go one step further. You don't need to have a foundation already made. You can make your own foundation if you really want to. Let's go to a weird, bumpy piece of land like right here. Okay, wood. Go up to structures. In structures, you got prefabs, which is a bunch of different, like these. And you see how it is on your map, on your screen. You can just pull the trigger and rotate them. And it's red. Red means it's not going to fit. White means it will. So now I can set it, let it go. There it is. Or I can put the cursor on it. I can, uh, if you look at the menu down there in the bottom, scrap, store, select, I can scrap it. Wood and steel, I'll take it. Now it's less wood and steel than I spent making it. So I don't do that. I just did that so you'd see. Uh, now, like I said, if I want to build a foundation, I go to floors. I can go cement or I can go all wood. Now I don't have any concrete yet. So I can't make that one. As you can see in the, my build width, it says wood and concrete. Concrete's still gray, zero of three. So I'm going to use my wood. I can push it down into the earth. I can spin it around to where I want it. Once I do that, as you see, once you put more in, they kind of auto snap in. All right? So you can also try and make them fit, you know, the same way. Or you can make gaps and then put bridges between them if that's what you want to do. If you want to have something on a higher level, you know, and then make a staircase go up to it. That too. Let's do that. Okay. So here is this and there is that. Now, staircase. I go to the stairs. I have another option for stairs here. I think this is the one I want. Nope. This is the one I want. Nope. There it is. That works. Not exactly. And you can see there's, you don't need to be perfect to make, to make a mess. You can still make a messy thing. Not what you, what you want to make probably, but you can. And then you can use it. I'm still in build mode. You got roofs, you got walls. Walls the same way, they snap in. See how that kind of snaps in? Here, watch. I rotate it a little bit and boom, it clicks right in. And I can set it there. And then there's another one. 
Now you see the build width sign over there. It's telling you how many, how much resources I have and how much you're losing. So right now, you know, I'm using three and four of wood and steel and that'll be gone. So you get kind of carried away with building and all of a sudden you're out of resources and you haven't fil finished what you wanted to do. Okay, so this is, you know, the basics of building a wall. Uh, if you want to build a wall with the door in it, that also is in the menu. See the menu down there as I push up on the walls menu, there is also doorway, you know, a thicker wall, uh, corner pieces, uh, extended wall pieces, like if you want to put a window on something, you can put like this sucker on there. No. And you're like, oh, I got these gaps. Well, they got something for that too. You go into the walls, you go all the way over here to the right, I believe, and there is a couple pieces that snap in here too. I go right in. See? So, it's pretty easy, actually. And, and addictive. Once you start doing it, you just get it. And you're just like, oh, well that sucks. I want to make something awesome. And that's when you start building tree houses and all this the crazy nonsense that so many of us have done already. That's basically it. You want to collect as many resources as possible. Now, there's all different stuff to do. Like, that's just building your basic structures, which is what I, I understood. I have somebody that wants to know how to do the basic building and setting a hard time, and that's what I was doing here. There's also electricity. You want to do power. You've got to make a generator first. You got to put it. I don't have enough stuff to build one right now, so I can't show you that. <clears throat> but you put a generator down. Then you go into your connectors and switches, and you want to put, like, a connector and switch power conduit on like the wall here or something and then run a wire from your generator to the pulp to the conduit and then any light bulbs you place in here or power using things will automatically work such as wall light bulbs or uh, ceiling light bulbs sorry um, the wall ones that stick on the wall here and they're kind of dimmer but they still look cool these ones you can run a wire directly to you don't need to use a conduit for that uh, the ceiling fan with light on it. That's another one of my favorites. The dramatic puddle light over a chair. Strobe light. Uh, disco ball. So on and so forth, man. You can make almost anything. A lot of fun. Anyways, that's it. Just a brief little video there for you. <laughs> or not. Um, about how to do basic building. If you have any questions, let me know. I will uh, do my best to respond. Okay, then. Bye.